Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of 1Password from Agile Web Solutions. This can only be described as the ultimate password storage vault and generator for Mac OS X. And once you've installed the application, you're presented with this main master password screen. And from here, you're going to type in the only password you're going to have to remember from now on. This presents you with the main user interface and here you've got a vault with various categories. In the logins category is where it stores your various website logins for accounts that you may have online. Moving on down there's an account section for storing account information like emails, file sharing or maybe even your mobile me credentials. Then under identities you can store information for auto filling in forms on websites. Here I've got one set up for myself, but you can add extra users which are stored in these empty slots. Then we've got an area for secure notes, one for software license details, and another one for things like credit cards and bank accounts. Now you can capture information from your standard internet browser, and when you're filing them, you can file them into various folders for easy organisation. You can also apply tags to the things that you file as well. And last but not least, there's a trash can. So let's give you a quick look at the preferences for 1Password. Starting off with the general tab, we've got uh, various tick boxes here so we can control what appears in our sidebar on the main user interface. We've got some security settings. Then we've also got a very important list of supported browsers. When I move on through this review, this will become more apparent as to why this is important. It supports Safari, Camino, Firefox, OmniWeb, Devon Agent, and also NetNewsWire, WebKit, Fluid, and iCab. Where it's got a little tick box where it says installed, this means that the one password icon for controlling the application is installed for this particular browser. Then we've got some preferences for logins, some backup preferences, updates, and an advanced panel as well. So back to the application itself. There are various ways you can get passwords into the application. The first one is by clicking this plus icon down here. And this allows you to manually enter in some details, perhaps for an email account. So let's do this for my .mac email. Then I would put the website address in here. And then maybe a username and a password, some attachments, some display preferences, some submit preferences, and some security preferences as well. This is now stored into the one password application, but this isn't where the power comes. The power comes from controlling it within your own web browser. So for example, this particular site, I can go to the sign in page, put in my details and a password, I've actually put in the wrong details for this example, but you'll get the idea. When I click the sign in button, one password steps in and asks me if I want to save the details I just entered as quidco1. So I can put quidco test for here and put it in unfiled and I can assign it a tag. This is a money saving website. And then I can click save. If I go back to my one password application, and scroll down to Quidco test, you can see that it's put all of the details automatically into the application. Now, because it's done this, I can recall these details very easily. If I switch back across to another website that I use for press releases, instead of me having to remember my details to put into these two boxes, I can actually access them and enter them automatically using the one password menu icon here. If I click on it, I've got an option here for fill and submit Capcom Euro Press. If I click on that button there, it automatically fills in the information that I've stored earlier and logs me into the website. 
Let's do that just once more. But first of all, I'm going to lock my passwords down. Let's log out of the Capcom Press Center. And again, I'm going to use the 1Password icon to fill and submit my details. This time it recognizes that my passwords are locked and asks me to enter my master password. Because I entered it correctly, it logs me into the website. So as you can see, the real power of 1Password is the fact that I now only have to remember this one master password. The application is a joy to use and extremely powerful. There's a trial version available of 1Password, but to purchase the application costs just $39.95, and that's for a single user license. Or if you want to buy a family five user license, it's going to cost you $69.95. There is also an iPhone and iPod Touch version available, so you can synchronize and carry around all of these passwords with you. It's a really neat solution. It certainly saves me having to remember all these multiple passwords for all of these websites I visit, and it's a well worthwhile purchase. Well, thanks very much for listening. This has been my review of one password from Agile Web Solutions. Please come back soon and check out more reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.